Okay, let's take a look at number 11 on page 97. The period T in seconds of a pendulum depends on the distance L in meters between the pivot and the pendulum center of mass. If the initial T, if the initial swing angle is relatively small, the period is given by the radical function T equals 2 pi root L over G, where G represents acceleration due to gravity, approximately 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. Jeremy is building a machine and needs it to have a pendulum that takes a one, it takes one second to swing from one side to the other. How long will the pendulum be in centimeters? Okay, so we're going to graph it. Let's just graph y equals 2 pi L over g, and g will be 9.8 meters per second squared. I'll just put it here, t equals 2 pi root L over 9.8, okay? So determine the point of intersection. If we take a look at the point of intersection, the pendulum should be approximately 0.99 meters or 99 centimeters in length. So that's 0.99 meters or 99 centimeters is the pendulum length. So that's what it should be. Okay, let's take a look at 12. Cables and ropes are made of several strands that contain individual wires or threads. The term, a seven by 19 cable, refers to a cable with seven strands, each containing 19 wires. Suppose a manufacturer uses the function D equals V root V over 30 to relate the diameter D in millimeters of its seven by 19 stainless steel air craft cable to the safe working load B in kilograms. Is a cable with a diameter of 6.4 meters large enough to support a mass of 1,000 kilograms? Well, since the B value of the coordinate, if we find the point of in intersection with the um, cases, we have um, is the cable, I'm going to put it here, D equals root B over 30, where D is equal to 6.4. Better make that look like a better, like a D. Okay. Since the value of the B coordinate, if we take a look at the point of intersection, is greater than or equal to a thousand, so I'll put it here. It will support Therefore, 6.4 millimeters will support a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. At B. What is the safe working load for a cable that is 10 millimeters in diameter? Okay, 
So we're going to determine the point of intersection of the graph d equals root b over 30, where d is equal to 10. Okay, so the value of the b coordinate will be 3000. So a safe working load for a cable with diameter of 10 millimeters is less than or equal to 3,000. I'll just write it out. And on your diploma, you should always answer your problems and questions that are written response in sentence form. With diameter of 10 millimeters is less than or equal to 3,000 kilograms, kilograms here. Okay, 